up you guys my name is Kamari and in today's video I am going to be giving you an updated braces journey now if you subscribe to my channel in regards to my braces journey I am so so sorry that I am so overdue for this video please let me explain myself okay so the reason why I never did like a final updated braces journey like of me getting my braces off is because in my last braces video I was telling y'all like you know if y'all want me to vlog the experience let me know in the comments and stuff like that and y'all was telling me to do that but then when I got to my appointment I chickened out so if y'all don't know this about me I am shy I am an introvert and I don't like unnecessary attention. So I be getting anxiety when it comes to like either initiating conversations with people. So if I get anxiety from that, then you already know I'm gonna get anxiety from asking, if, oh, is it okay if I vlog here or pulling out my camera just um, vlogging? Although they probably wouldn't even mind, but it's just like a problem that I have within myself. So that is what happened with the braces journey video okay and I am so so sorry about that I deeply apologize and I still should have uploaded it anyway but I'm the type of person where I like to keep my word and so I felt like I had let y'all down and that's why I never uploaded the video but I'm coming to you guys with the video today because I felt like I owed it to y'all because a lot of y'all comment um about it to this day. They're like, where's the final braces update? Oh, are you gonna upload the final braces update? I see you got your braces off. And I'm like, oh my God, yes, I did get them off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so this is for you guys. And again, I'm so, so sorry. And thank you for watching my braces journey when I did um, document that. So this video is for you. Now, with that all said and done, let's get into the details of my braces getting off. So, I got my braces taken off, I believe March 31st of 2021. And now, while I did say that I would vlog the experience, of course, I did not vlog the experience. And I did get into detail about that in the intro. But even if I wanted to vlog the experience, I probably wouldn't have been able to because of the experience itself first of all i don't really like anyone messing with my teeth anyway because i had a not so great experience once when i had to get a fill in and yeah that wasn't great for me but other than that i just don't like anyone in my mouth but of course when you want to invest in yourself sometimes you just gotta suck it up on the day of my appointment everything was fine um if you guys recall, on the top of my teeth, I had ceramic braces, and at the bottom, I had metal. Now, when they took the metal braces off, that was a breeze. That was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But then, when they took the ceramic braces off, that's when all hell broke loose. So, a little bit about me. Your girl has sensitive teeth. If I inhale a little bit too strongly, that cold air is gonna bother my teeth. Not so much now because I do use toothpaste that caters to sensitive teeth, but before I started using that kind of toothpaste, your girl had really, really sensitive teeth. So now keep that in mind that when they removed the ceramic braces, the process is a little bit different due to it being a different material. And so when they would remove the braces, parts of the bracket would break off and so they would have to shave off the remaining parts of the bracket and that is when I was very uncomfortable it got to the point where the orthodontist was telling me raise your hand every time it was uncomfortable and I was raising it every few seconds so yeah it was not a great experience it took them a while to get those ceramic brackets off of my mouth but when they were done I was relieved because like I said, zero out of 10 would not recommend, okay? <laughs> so yeah. My orthodontist did contour my teeth. So teeth contouring is basically, if you have like rigid um, ends on your teeth, like maybe they're not smooth, you can get them contoured or reshaped. As a matter of fact, let me give y'all the textbook definition of teeth contouring. Okay, so teeth contouring is basically when the dentist will use drills and laser to remove some of your enamel until your teeth are the desired size, shape, and length. 
After the contouring is complete, your teeth will be more polished for a natural looking shine. So basically that's what happened to me. Now, I believe in the last video I did say that I got um, like a resin put over my peg laterals. So I wanted to reiterate on that again, that I did get a resin placed over my peg laterals. Now when I show you my teeth later on in the video, you will see that that resin, my orthodontist did explain that it's not permanent and you will see that it's definitely not permanent because I did break one of the resins when I was chewing on something. So I will have to eventually get a more permanent solution to fix my peg laterals than that. Which I was informed about that when I first got my braces or during my consultation. So I wanted to talk about the difference between ceramic versus metal. Ceramic braces are more expensive than metal braces and basically ceramic braces are for people that want braces but don't want the braces look. They're a little bit less undetectable than metal braces. So they're basically for aesthetic purposes. Um, metal braces are just bra brackets that are made out of metal. They are very noticeable and yeah, that's basically the difference. You're essentially paying more for people to not really notice the fact that you do have braces. Um, do I recommend ceramic braces? Not really. And it also just depends on your personal preference. But for me personally, I do not recommend ceramic braces only because of what I had to go through with getting them removed. Also, when you do get the ceramic braces, you do, you do have to wear rubber bands. And while they do have clear rubber bands for the ceramic braces, I would not recommend them because the clear rubber bands do stay easily. So if you eat something that's yellow or red, you're gonna turn your clear rubber bands colors and then people will be able to see that. Now, the brackets themselves do not turn colors, but the rubber bands, they do. So that is one of the reasons why I do not recommend the ceramic braces. And if I would have gone through my journey all over again, I probably would have just got all metal. But the only reason why I got um, ceramic and metal was because um, someone made an appointment for me on a Saturday. And when I came in, the office was closed. So to um, remedy that situation, they offered to upgrade my braces to ceramic for free of charge. Well, not free of charge, but without adding an additional fee for that. So that's why I got ceramic. But if I would have known then what I knew now, I would have just taken the metal because I preferred the metal over the ceramic. So I did have to wear my braces for a year and a half. So I wore them for a total of 19 months. I was supposed to wear them for 18 months, but, but of course the pandemic had happened. So I did have to skip a month of treatment due to that. Let's talk about retainers. So I got my retainers a week after I got my braces taken off. And the kind of retainers that I have are the clear kind. They kind of look like Invisalign, but they're not Invisalign, they're um, clear retainers. And I'm gonna go get them so I can show them to you guys. And I don't know if everyone's orthodontist does this, but when I did get my um, braces taken off, I was given a bag of candy. It had candy and gum in it, I guess to reward you for getting your braces taken off since you can't really eat it with your braces on. So I just wanted to add that in there. So I'm gonna show you guys my retainers. So my retainers, when they did give me the retainers, they gave me this little ugly green case for it. So I decided to take it upon myself to give me a cuter case from off of Amazon. So this is the case that I got off of Amazon. It's, I believe, an Invisalign case. And it came with this cute little bag that goes with it that you can put it in there, I guess. And so I'm gonna show you guys my retainers. So like I said, I have the clear retainers. And this is what it looks, this is what they look like. They essentially look like a Visalign, but they're not. And when I first got my braces taken off, I had to wear them all day, except for when I was eating. And that was for about a good six months, I want to say, I believe three to six months. And then after that, I was scheduled another appointment. And that's when they told me I only have to wear my retainers at night. And also when I did get my retainers, I also got permanent retainers placed on my bottom row of my teeth. So I'm going to show you guys that now. So I'm going to show you guys my teeth and how they look so far. Another reason why I did not want to do the video um, about me getting my braces taken off is also because I did not like my teeth when I got my braces taken off. And, you're, and I'm going to show you guys why. So when I had my braces on, I mentioned my concerns to my orthodontist 
that my bottom row was not aligned with my top row when I closed my mouth. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. You guys see that? It's like this middle tooth is in the middle of my two front teeth when I close my mouth. But he never said anything about it. He never tried to extend the treatment or anything. So that's one thing that I just didn't like about my teeth. But other than that, I did like my teeth. So I'm gonna show you guys what my teeth look like. Now I'm gonna show you my permanent retainer. So that's what my permanent retainer looks like and it's bonded on with some type of bonding or whatever I don't know so now I'm gonna show you guys my teeth also if you're new to my channel I do have a missing tooth I did mention that in my previous video And this is the tooth that I was talking about. I will insert pictures of what my teeth looked like when I first had the resin placed on as opposed to how it looks now with the resin broken off of one of the teeth. So this one is fine. This one, I ha this one has resin on it. This one has it at the top, but it, you can tell where it broke off at. Right here. So this is my actual tooth right there. So the way that I clean my retainers is I just brush them like I'm brushing my teeth. Um, my orthodontist said not to use a whitening toothpaste on them so I wouldn't recommend that. But they also have some type of like tablet thing what, that you can use. Like I think you put drop it in some water like dentures or something and then it'll clean off your retainers. I haven't looked into that because I'm just lazy. But I think that that's another way that you might be able to do it. Don't quote me. So let's talk about my future plans for my teeth. Eventually, I do want to get my peg laterals fixed permanently, and what was recommended to me was that I get uh, porcelain veneers. So that's what I would have to get in order to get my peg laterals fixed permanently, It's porcelain veneers, but I don't see myself doing that anytime soon because porcelain veneers are extremely expensive and my insurance does not cover that. And also, I do plan on getting my missing tooth fixed eventually but like the porcelain veneers they are expensive so i'm probably gonna have to end up spending a lot of money to fix my teeth but i'm not in a hurry to do that because i got other things that need to be done my tooth is the last of my worries because they look good enough for now they look way better than they did before do they look how i want them to look no but they still look good in my opinion and i'm just gonna end this video off by saying never be afraid to invest in yourself like I said in my previous video you are never too old to invest in yourself if you're 50 80 I don't care how old you are if you don't like your teeth and you want to get your teeth fixed get them fixed screw what everybody else say if you get braces as an adult you're not gonna look like a child you're just gonna look like someone who cares about themselves and who wants to spend money to invest in themselves that's that's all that says to a person with some sense one of the best things that you can do is invest in your smile forget everything else invest in your smile because people underestimate the power of a smile you can make somebody's day with a smile you can make a friend with a smile so why not have a smile that you're confident in if that's something that you want to do and if you want to love your teeth the way they are there's nothing wrong with that either but if you're unhappy with your teeth and you want to invest in yourself I think you should because what, what do you have to lose nothing and on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I am deeply sorry for the overdue video. But in the words of Drake, better late than never, but never late is better. <laughs>
So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm Kamari, and I'm out. Bye.